so now I'm packed up and ready to go but I have no idea where I'm going because I've um, been working all week and now Cornelius planned this trip for us so I'm excited let's see what happens so apparently we are going paddling canoe Whoa! What have you done, mister? Nothing. You planned a trip for us? Mm. Mm. It's been too long since we paddled, so... <laughs> the last thing I heard was that you didn't want to paddle again. Well, it's not entirely true, hopefully. We'll see. Yeah, I'm excited. Me too. We got good weather also. It was raining the whole morning. So I was like, please, Odin, help us. And now? It's gonna be good for three days. Whoop, whoop. This surprise trip turned out to be a three-day canoeing trip that we're doing. So we rented a canoe and got dropped off in a lake. I don't even know where we are, but uh, I guess I'm gonna consult the map later. So far, so good. It's nice to be out again. Swedish chocolate is superior chocolate. No country does chocolate. Like Sweden does chocolate. And this also my favorite flavor. It's um, salted almond. Salted almonds. English yeah. is hard. Yeah, especially today it seems. Mm. This is a nice little passage. So the two adventurers paddled away through a cozy little creek with just enough water for them to pass. It was so quiet and everything seems at peace. I find it fascinating how nature has this relaxing effect on me. It's almost like the trees are breathing the same rhythm as I am. just picked up fairly significantly maybe you can tell and uh, we decided to stop for lunch so we're gonna have a quick break hopefully the wind calms down and then uh, yeah we're gonna get back back out there Tomatoes. 
bunch of mail. Yes. Stick it on the fire. How's that? It's delicious. Somebody was hungry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you get the first one. So yummy. Yeah. Very nice. Was being greedy with melting the cheese so now I got this charred piece of bread that looks like yeah it's not too bad <coughs> yeah okay it's pretty bad but I'm pretty hungry so After dinner, yes. let's cheers to this wind stopping. Ah, oh, <laughs> oh <yeah. laughs> it was too hot. <laughs> so nasty. <laughs> After having food and steamy coffee, it was time to get going. Our adventurers packed the boat and started to paddle away. Paddle harder. Excuse me, young lady. Mm -hmm. This is the opposite of paddling. Yeah. Well, oh, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> the spirit was high as they enjoyed themselves on the water, taking detours through the reeds. So now we're looking for a place to camp. Um, supposedly it's gonna be one of the islands around here. <sighs> Looks like the spot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at that. Those are huge. But this is a great spot, mm -hmm. tent sized. So this is our new tent, it's gonna be the first night sleeping in it, so we'll see what we think about it, but it's a four season tent, I'm pretty excited about it. Today has been a surprise day, or like a surprise trip, and I was not thinking we were supposed to go paddling. So far so good though, it has been a quite nice day, quite easy paddling. Um, although I've been very tired from the week, um, but it's nice to be out again. It's crazy how like the business of a city gets to your mind. And as, as soon as we came out here, I was like, it was like I could breathe again. And it was so quiet, which was really nice. 
but now I'm gonna go and help Cornelius with the food making. For dinner, we're also doing steak. I'm gonna use this steak seasoning that I've never tried before. Oh, that's a lot. Let's get that in there. Switch it up. We're getting a pan. Butter. For me, being outside can't be compared with anything else. Life feels more real. The struggles are real, but so are the joy. Imagine the gnawing feeling of anxiousness when you're not able to light the fire a cold, wet October morning. Just as knowing will the joy and relief be when you finally get that fire going. It's like everything I feel is more pure when outside. It's not just that. Food tastes better outside and sleep is more recuperating when outside. It's almost like we're made to be outside. This is the moon. It's full moon tonight. It's so beautiful. Good morning! Day two today. We slept. 12 hours and this tent is great. For breakfast, as always, we're doing oats. protein powder and then we give it a nice little stir we got this oh thank you this amazing cashew butter that we got for from a friend yes yeah. a dear friend dear friend <gasps> <laughs> i'm sorry no no why do i break everything well, I guess I'm eating with this one. No, 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 no. It's my mistake for bringing it in the first place. Yeah, don't be my friend. I will only break your stuff. Yeah, especially electronics. <laughs> The two adventurers packed their stuff and got ready for a new day. The 
So we did this passage just because we wanted to see how it was. And now we turned around, we're gonna do it with tailwind instead of headwind. Whoop whoop! Today they really had the weather on their side. The sun shining through the trees, the water bright as a mirror, and adventures behind every corner. We were looking for a small river to check if it was paddleable. <laughs> I guess it's not. Was that the eagle? That was the eagle. Yeah, I got a good look at him. Nice. Yeah, it's That's huge. Crazy. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, so background story. We've been seeing an eagle like soaring around here, but we haven't been able to capture it on video. At least not very close. But it's super cool. It's huge. Yeah. So as always, we realized we were hungry when we started to get grumpy. So now we're making lunch here on this little island. <sighs> and it's only slightly burnt, which is a step up for me. After lunch, the wind picked up. We didn't have that much left to paddle, but the waves were absolutely making it harder. And we needed to get away from the open water because tomorrow the wind was going to be worse. Now the sun was setting and we took the last paddle strokes of the day under the light of the moon. Yesterday we paddled until it got dark, made dinner and put up camp in complete darkness with only one head torch. Um, and yeah, today it's supposed to be quite windy and it's gonna be windier the further we go during the day. So fingers crossed, hopefully we're gonna be protected by land but we'll see about that. Once again, we got ready to get on the water. The wind was blowing in all directions and sometimes not at all. But what struck me the most was all the incredible colors. It's so fascinating how nature is so imperfect, yet so perfect. And how everything just happens without involvement of us. We are not wanted nor needed. We are simply just visitors, allowed to observe. And for that, I am so very grateful. <laughs> 